Hello everyone, with you auto problems. The world loves crossovers. They are chosen to sit a little higher and drive a little further, manufacturers consider profits, but classic frame SUVs are on the verge of extinction because of them. For all their merits, such cars become rare and remain in demand mainly among the cast of fans or principled admirers of everything good old. We figured out what is the charm of such cars, and also identified the 10 most popular frame SUVs. In short, they have several characteristic advantages. Firstly, the ability to drive confidently and without losing wheels on bad and very bad roads, which we still have the majority of. The chassis of frame cars is usually more durable, although the cost of repairs can be unpleasantly surprising. In addition, today's heroes are ideal for towing, rough terrain and, of course, off-road travel. The strong frame takes on the lion's share of the loads, the differential lock allows you to knead the dirt where the city people who stopped halfway on the crossover are not visible even with binoculars. 10th place, Nissan Toronto. In last place in terms of views is an SUV, which, in addition to all the advantages already mentioned, has one more that makes the Nissan Toronto a hot commodity on the used market. This, of course, is about the price, which is an order of magnitude lower than that of competitors. This SUV can be bought for $2,500, while we are talking about the maximum configuration. Other cars from today's rating cannot boast of such a low price in the top. However, becoming the owner of a frame SUV, get ready for additional expenses, such cars are at least much heavier, which means that their fuel consumption is not at all modest. 9th place, Toyota 4Runner SUV based on the legendary Toyota Hilux pickup truck is in great demand in Ukraine, although it is quite rare. The fact is that 4Runner is not officially sold in our country, so the Auto.ria catalogs are not oversaturated with it either. Nevertheless, interest in each 4Runner is extremely high. So big that he managed to settle in 9th place in the views of frame SUVs this year. 8th place, Song Young Rexton. This is a classic SUV from the South Korean company, which decided to make the model more comfortable, without losing sight of the usual characteristics of a car of this class. This car was created on the basis of the Mercedes-Benz M-Class and even the engines for it were assembled under license from a German manufacturer. In addition, in the best years of Ukrainian auto production, Rexton was assembled in the shops of the Kramenchug car assembly plant, which had a positive effect on its value. Now the model is preparing to step into the future, Song Young announced the release of a new generation this year. In the meantime, early versions of the car are storming the used car market. Moreover, judging by our statistics, quite successfully. 7th place, Cadillac Escalade. But on this frame monster you should not even think about conquering the wild steps. Not because it is impossible in principle, just the engineers of General Motors conceived it for completely different purposes. The Cadillac brand is a premium division of an American corporation, which means that all brand cars primarily provide comfort and safety. By the way, Escalade has long been faithfully serving the US government where the car is used to transport important civil servants and in the presidential motorcade, and middle-class benchmarks are quoted. But it should be clearly understood that the purchase and maintenance of the Escalade is an extremely costly undertaking. In this category, the American luxury SUV takes an honorable first place in our chart today. Sixth place, Hyundai Terracan. The name of this already forgotten car comes from the words Terra, Land, and Con, Ruler. And, perhaps, this is all you need to know about this model. The car is really created more for adventure than quiet, calm everyday life. Hyundai Terracan, whose production ended in 2007, was once sold in Asia, Europe, Africa, and North America. The model was not presented on the Ukrainian market, however, it is not so difficult to find this seasoned SUV on the pages of catalogs. Judging by the statistics, the public does not lose interest in him. 5th place, Toyota Land Cruiser Prado One of the most popular players in the used car market in Ukraine, Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, in our country is usually used not quite for its intended purpose. Its owners are more often not travelers, but judges and prosecutors along with representatives of the criminal world. And yet, this is a frame SUV, which was originally, in 1987, conceived precisely as an all-terrain vehicle. The car was built on the same platform as the aforementioned Toyota 4Runner, but in the case of the Land Cruiser Prado, the automaker tried to make it a little more comfortable than a truck. With each new warship, the amenities became more and more, but at the same time the price also grew. However, there are so many offers for the sale of this model that, 
if desired, almost everyone can find a cheaper car. Another thing is in what condition it will be. For place, Jeep Cherokee. Jeep has been working on its off-road image for many years, and it is difficult to find a more successful example of success in this direction. Now even the name of the brand has become a household name, because all large all-wheel drive vehicles are still called Jeeps, and those who like to climb on their iron horses into the swamp up to their ears are called Jeepers. Not devoid of comfort and off-road talents, the embodiment of the American dream for the post-Soviet countries settled on four positions in our rating and diluted with its presence a high concentration of participants from Asia. Third place, Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. Another frame SUV from Japan opens the top three in terms of views, which is not afraid to get dirty in the mud, and can be transported around the city with relative comfort. Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, which at one time was built on the basis of the L200 pickup truck, is presented in catalogs in a fairly wide range. After carefully scrolling through the offers, you can buy a used Mitsubishi Pajero Sport for $7,500. Of course, there are more expensive versions, which are also closely watched by our readers. Second place, Nissan Patrol. One of the most respected all-terrain vehicles of the recent past has now turned into a pompous and comfortable carriage for lovers of everything big. However, there are still enough old-generation cars on the market, designed with an eye on off-road driving and combining high cross-country ability with high reliability. In addition, Patrol is the perfect base for building your own Uber SUV. Such a conclusion can be drawn by taking part in at least one expedition of the Ukrainian Club of Off-Road Adventures. Their leader, Dmitry Commander Kovalev, runs in the unexplored corners of our country on just such an apparatus. He himself describes the car as ideal for transformation. It is easy to install winches on the patrol, increase ground clearance, put off-road tires, and there are a lot of spare parts for customization and for every taste. In a word, a machine for the toughest mud badges. One place, Opel Frontera. This year, the German car with Japanese roots, the Opel Frontera, received the most likes from readers. It turned out to be the most popular SUV on our website. There are not so many of them in Ukraine, primarily because Frontera was discontinued in 2004. However, this Isuzu Wizard-based car could be an interesting option for a reasonable price. A notable fact, Frontera was very popular in Australia, albeit under the Holden brand. Residents of the smallest continent on Earth were even pleased with the special edition of the Sport Olympus car, which debuted right at the Sydney Olympics in 2000. We inform those who like to travel around the provinces that the car is equipped with a solid rear axle, a lowering row and a long travel suspension. And it looks good despite the years. It will be very interesting to know your opinion about the list. And that's all for me, thank you all for your attention, I will be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel, see you soon.